Hey guys, what is up? It is the Brickmaster, and today we are going to be looking at my first junior set. This is, um, I forget what it's called, <laughs> but, yeah, I, I pretty much don't know anything about this set, except that we have it right here. So, first off, it comes with three minifigures, and what's that, like five little mini builds back there? And yeah, it costs 20 bucks. Has a hundred something pieces, 110 I think. So yeah, let's take a look at these minifigures. First up here we have Kai in his ninja suit. Um, this is one of the more common ninjas to get, which is really nice because um, this gunmetal gray um, sword holder is very nice. Um, if you saw my other video on the dojo training set or spinjutsu training set you will know what his faces look like so there's his first face without the mask here's his second face with the mask here, let's put the whole mask on there so you can see it better and there's the face without the mask and um, I don't have my tripod with me but I could just hold up my camera, so it's okay. But I don't think I'm going to be able to get to show you guys the back. Unless I get to do this with one hand. Yeah, that's not going to happen. But yeah, he comes with two silver katanas. And he has some really nice printing. So, next up, this is Spinjitsu Training Lloyd. He is exclusive to the set, or, well, really nothing exclusive here. Um, his hair, his head, and sword come in plenty of other sets. Um, you can easily get his hair and his face and sword. Um, but he does have the Spinjitsu Training Outfit. Which you can get in a couple books, um, some mini sets, and the collectible minifigure series. So yeah, nothing really interesting here. Um, there's his front face and his back face. You can see there's Wu on the back there, the Wu Crew logo. And yeah, so that's Lloyd. Um, he has this really awesome sword. I like the mold, and then he has a little tassel on the end of it. And finally, for our bad guy in the set, we get a Great White Shark. This is like all the other Great White Sharks, except he doesn't have an oxygen tank. So he can ride in his um, vehicle, which I will show you in a minute. But on mine in the set, it's a little scratch right there. You can see it's not just a scratch. I guess it's like a little bit of paint that's splattered on. I mean, it's fine, but it's just... And he has the same face as a lot of others. And then you can see for his weapon, he has a aqua blue fish as a little cone piece, and then a grappling hook on the end. So, as I said, let's take a look at his vehicle. So, here is the shark vehicle. Actually, let's turn around. Come over here. You can see Mox. Yeah, woohoo. Um... Where are his little missiles? Oh, here's one. Where's the other one? Hmm? Can you find it? Find it! Yay! Okay. <laughs> but seriously, where is it? I'm looking. Still looking. Oh, look, there's Zane's bell. Let's get that up here <laughs> so I don't lose it. Oh, hey, look, there's a mini ice tank. Ah, I just reviewed that and made a video on it. <sighs> Dang. Oh, well, guess we're only doing one missile today. Let's put this back on. Black screen. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, there we go. So here is his shark vehicle. Um, I really like this, it's really cute. Um, it's got the Junior's car mold. It has a printed piece right there with a shark face on it and a few scratches. And then there's some shark teeth 
on the side here. Both sides are pretty much identical. You can see there's this fin right here. It's got some yellow wheels on the back. You can see there's another big fin back here. And there's some exhaust right here. That is a clip for his weapon. I really like it when they have clips on vehicles for accessories. I feel like that's great so then you don't have to like just put them off to the side and lose them. Then you can see he just sits in right there where there's a printed, I think that's a new piece right there, or a new printed piece. Right there, you can see. And then we can just place him in here. It's got a little windshield. And there are two flick fire missiles. Of course, you guys just saw, I don't know where the other one is, but here's one. <laughs> So yeah, that's the uh, shark dude's vehicle. Now let's look at Kai's vehicle. Kai gets his own motorcycle that likes to fall over. Actually, I have a thing for that. I built this right here. This is kind of a kickstand to put on it. This is a one by two plate with a little handlebar off on it. And then there's a one by two plate underneath that. You can see there's two studs under there. And for display, because you can't roll it like this, and then you can tilt it back, and it's like it's jumping. But for this video's sake, I'm going to keep that off. On the back, you can see that there's a big flame looking super awesome. I, I, love, I love these big flames, guys. Yeah. Okay. Um, no, but seriously, these flames are awesome. And over here, you can see this is like one of those traffic cone pieces. And, or not a traffic cone, it's a snot brick. It's a one by two snot brick with a little nozzle at the end of it. Then you have a little flag right here, unprinted, no stickers. This is printed though. There's a little printed part that just says zero. Then there's some handlebars in there. And what I really like about this is that there's enough room on here that you can put Kai's swords on here too, like that. So yeah, it's a very cool little motorcycle. And um, next up, this is the dojo stuff. There are There's three little things for the dojo. Um, first, we'll start with this. So if you saw my um, Spinjitsu training video, then you will know that there is a little pillar in there that doesn't spin. Well, this one does spin. Yeah, Lego, you did good on this one. I really like this. It has a little, um, kind of like a little spiky ball in the middle. And then there's some little sticks coming out of it for, like, little obstacles. So, yeah, you can just kind of spin that around. Very cool. Right here, you can see there's a weapon shrine. I don't know if that was on there. I'll just keep it off. <laughs> but, um, you can see there's one clip that doesn't have anything in here. And I think that is for, um, Lloyd's sword when he's not using it. So you can put it in there if you like. Because, of course, Lloyd doesn't have any storage for his weapons. And, finally, something that actually has a little bit of a play feature to it. This is for Lloyd, or Kai. This is a little wood cutting board thing. See if I can get this sword back. I can't. That's fine though. We can, we can just pretend. So back here you can see there's a crate with two gunmetal gray sides in it. Which is very nice. And then there are two identical little pillars with two printed one by three um wood boards and then you can just kind of push it down there and it's like it breaks so that is very very cool all right guys well i think that is going to do it for this review i hope you guys did enjoy if you did please leave a like on this video and also subscribe to the brick master there's one more thing i want to show you guys 
Um, I am going to be doing more videos here. So I just want to show you this. Over here, you can see this is my checklist for the Lego Ninjago movie minifigures. The only figures I need now are Lloyd, Garmadon, Pajama Garmadon, and Cole. So I'm almost done with the whole set. This here is me, of course, Brickmaster YT. And then there's a little Lego thing right there. And then the Visit Ninjago City poster. Now, you know, most of you know, that you can only get this with the Ninjago City. Where is it? Well, if you haven't seen it yet, here it is. I will not be doing a review on this set. It is just simply too big. Um, the review would take a very long time, and it would not upload. And also, I don't think you guys want to sit through an hour just watching me point at every little detail. But here's kind of an overview of it. So you can see there on the back. But yeah, so uh, yeah, that will pretty much do it for this video. Um, hope you guys enjoy. If you did, please leave a like. Um, it's a very good set. I definitely like it. Price points, eh, it's, it's not one of the best deals in this way, but there are some great deals, so I think I'll let it go. And it comes with two vehicles and three minifigures. Like, that's good for a junior set. But, yeah. Um, all right, guys, that is me. Sign out. Peace out, guys. See you in the next video.